Hey guys, so today we're going to be finding products to dropship on eBay. So let's go ahead and dive in. So today we're going to use Amazon to help us find some products. And I'm going to make this video nice, short and quick. We have a lot of stuff I need to do today. I nearly didn't do a video, but I decided to. So let's do this. Right, search bar, we're going to put in a keyword. This keyword can be anything, so let's put in storage. Now we are not doing this to directly find products, but we're doing this to find other dropshippers on eBay to find their products. So let's go to let's go to storage box. So let's scroll down. So eleven pound fifty four. Let's take a look at this one. Now what you can also also do is go to page 2, page 3, page 4, but I'm just going to do it this way for now. So let's take this title, copy, go over to eBay, and put it in the search bar. So let's go ahead. Now hopefully this should bring up other dropshippers. It should do. I can't see why it wouldn't because I do this all the time. So let's scroll down. Okay, so here we are. Here's one. Let's open that up. Now let's see how much feedback they have got. Okay, quite a lot of feedback. Now is this the box on Amazon? Come on. I'm not too sure. Let's take a look at another image. If it will let me. Let's take a look at that one. I don't think it is. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this tab. Close that tab, scroll down to their description, I'm going to right click and search in Google. Now by doing this, if they are a dropshipper, this will pull up the retailer that they use. Can't even copy this, so let's do that. And search. Is that it? Scroll down a little bit. 50 litre. 50 litre. Well, looks like it is. So come on. There we go. So that's £13.49 over on Amazon. They're selling it for £15.92. Surely they're only breaking even. Let's go ahead and look at their other items. So we've identified a dropshipper. Now we're going to look at their other items that they are selling. So view items for sale. Let's go to sold listings. Looking straight at this, it looks like these products are all from Amazon. So let's go to sold listings. Let's, he's got 5,000 sold listings. So let's go down to here, put 20 and above, above, above. Ruby's official. Let's take a look at this. But see how quick that was? We've identified a dropshipper. Now we can go through their best selling items to see if we could potentially sell them ourselves. Now, if you learn this process, you can find dropshippers within a matter of minutes to take a look at their best selling items. And then what I would do, I would snoptimize this item if I was going to sell this one. Let's just close that. Let's see how many they've sold. They've only sold one. Now I want to find items that ideally have sold more than four times in a month. Let's take a look. One sold. Let's 
Let's take a look at 34. Let's take a look at this. Looks like they sell a lot of costumes. 20, 25, 40. Let's take a look at that. But it doesn't really take long at all to find other dropshippers. Now to find the best selling items does take a little bit longer. You can use software to streamline and fasten. Fasten? Is that a word? And speed up the process. Only sell one. So this is the boring part. Let's go to completed. Now you, the method we just used to find this dropshipper, you can use any keywords you want, you can use any retailer you want as well. It's just a method to find other dropshippers. 32, let's take a look at this. Okay, let's go back. I just want to find a good selling item quick. Only sell one, so let's go back. Let's try this one. Only one sold. Hasn't got very many best selling products. 20, let's try this. Pedigree. See, their titles aren't very optimised at all. It looks like they take their titles directly from their retailer. Come on, I need this to load up. One sold. One sold in the last 24 hours. Hmm. Anyway, ideally, we'd like to see this number up above four. So we want at least four sold within the month. Then what I would do is completely optimize the title. Now to understand optimization, go ahead and watch the video up here in the right hand corner and it will tell you everything you need to know. Right, I'm going to keep this video nice, short and simple. The point of this video was, here we go, we found nine sold. When did they sell them? Quite a lot in April. So, this item I could potentially list. We'd like to know where it's first from. So, let's go down to here. Let's go to the description. Search in Google. Again, this is going to bring up the retailer that they are using. I do think this is Argos, not Argos, sorry. Um, Amazon. How big's the bag? 10 kgs. 1.5, 5. Go back. Now, I'm sorry this video isn't as good as my other ones. I just wanted to get another video out there today. I've got so much on my mind and I've got so much that I need to do. So it could be from Pets at Home. Let's take a little look. Server error. Anyway, if I was to sell this product, I'd completely optimise the title. Because if we look at this title, this isn't very optimised at all. I'm shocked they've actually had nine sales. But anyway, I'm going to keep this video nice, short and simple. You now know the method, again, to go and try and find other dropshippers to look at their best-selling items so we could potentially sell them ourselves. That being said, I've been Paddy. This has been Stacking Profit. And I'll see you again soon.